Friendsville was probably uh, the community that we've heard the most opposition from. A big concern of Friendsville, I think it's a legitimate concern. What happens if, if the Yakagani River gets polluted? And that's their, uh, you know, their lifeblood down there. Uh, they, they get their drinking water from that. They, they obviously have a large whitewater rafting community that, that supports their uh, economy down there. And if, I think it would be devastating if, if that would happen. But I think, you know, more than fracking could devastate the Yakagani River. The uh, Interstate 68 goes right over that. You have a fuel tanker collapse and fall into the river, can do the same thing. A couple seats up here. Come to Friendsville often? No, this is the first for any, really? any of the commissioners. No one's ever done really? it. So this is historic? Yeah. Elliot and I had spoken in advance, and, and of course I knew what the presentation was going to be on, and of course that was going to draw people in too. Marcellus Shale Natural Gas and any, uh, any other energy production could pollute one of the county's largest assets, its natural beauty and environmental sustainability. So they identified this in our strategic plan as we move forward. So that's something that we have to make sure is brought to the forefront as we discuss whether or not we're going to do this. I'd just like to get sort of your response to that presentation, because everybody up there has said they're for fracking. I will say that a presentation like that is very compelling. I will say that. As far as right now changing my mind, not going to happen. Is this going to hurt our long-term future? We do need an economic study. It, it's not been done specific to, to Garrett County. It's the health issues. Forget the economic business. <coughs> Everyone wants their cash for their land. It's their right to have it. Well, the neighbor next door has a right to clean air and water yes. and not without the noise and the flares at night. You're disturbing their whole life. We just want to know how many facts it will take to, we've given you hundreds of facts, hundreds of stories, pictures, videos. Is there a number? Because if it's a thousand, uh, we can do that in uh, yeah, three hours. <laughs> if it's 10,000, it might take us two days. We can get you 10,000 facts. And I guarantee you, if you say a million, we'll get you a million. Yeah. So get ready, they're coming. <laughs> You have a room full of people here who many have been engaged in this for five years or more. And please look at this room as a resource of people who would much rather work on something more positive. Mm -hmm. yes. and, help you. And, and I'm actually glad there were so many people there because I'm a former teacher, uh, still work in the school system, I, and I taught government. And uh, you know, I want to see people active in their community, and uh, I want to see them be involved. So I was very pleased with that. Everybody has their own visions, their own ideas. And so many people just want that money, and they don't care what it does to the people around them and their way of life. Do you think the commissioners are hearing you? No. And I think the commissioners have their mind made up. This has been the most divisive issue uh, I can remember in county. I didn't expect the veracity of it. You know, the whole thing comes down to whether or not you think it can be done safely. That's what it comes down to. So this, this was talking about economic impact. This wasn't talking about environmental well, or health. This was talking about the economic impact on the tourism and second homes that are in the county that is a foundation um, and building on the, what the people here are doing with new students in their schools. I mean, that, those are your strategic goals. Well, So it's not just safety. Yeah, I'm not here to get into a debate, <coughs> you know, but if you, if you, if you consider that less than 3% of the county's surface area will be will allow for vertical drilling and if now that MD has gone back and said add interme intermediate streams into that equation well, then there's then there's not going to be anywhere to drill in the county really so it's it's well that only assumes if they adopt O'Malley's regulations which you've asked them not to do exactly right. and, and that's just the you surface area that. that's not access to the to the natural gas in the ground it's 85 percent so it's those kind of things that are sort of misleading and almost seem disingenuous in terms of trying to understand what the issues are. <clears throat> this is such a unique area to live in. If you, have, if you want something else, you want the indus industrial area, go to it. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioners are still in a huge denial 
And I think that the outcry from this is, is getting louder and louder. The question now is whether the commissioners will represent all of Garrett County or if they will bend to the political pressures that are being applied to them. I want to know what somebody right down the middle says about it. I've found very, very few people, if any, who are sort of middle of the road. You, you seem to really either be for it or against it.